Sussex returned to the top of the LV County Championship table by completing a nine-wicket win over Somerset with five sessions to spare in Taunton. A Sussex win was inevitable at the start of the third morning. It was just a case of how long Somerset could hold out and we soon had our answer after Alfonso Thomas fell to the fifth ball of the day, turning Steve McGough into Chris Nash at mid-wicket. That left Somerset on 198 for 8, leading by only 79. And after eight more runs were added, the other overnight batsman, Peter Trigo, bottom edged Chris Jordan to Ben Brown, for whom this was his ninth catch of the match. 25 minutes into the day, and the home side were all out for 209. Jamie Overton, the last man to go, as he gave McGoffin his 20th championship wicket against Somerset this season. His match figures here were 8 for 101. So that left Sussex with the simple target of getting 91 runs to win for the fourth time this summer. They are also the only unbeaten side in the top flight. Nash and Luke Wells decided to get the job done in as little time as possible and went after the bowling from the off. Steve Kirby was expensive with the new ball, not that that really mattered. The game having long since gone in this rather one-sided affair... The second this season where Sussex have totally dominated Somerset. Nash and Wells raced the total along to 40 at five runs per over. Only for Wells to fall for 19 when he edged a drive to Trigo in the slips. But that was to be the home side's only success. Nash was making up for his lack of runs in the first innings with some lovely shots. Whereas Michael Yardy simply picked up from his glorious first innings contribution, where he smashed 156 with 27 fours included. Indeed, his partnership with Matt Machen turned out to be the big difference between these two sides on this occasion. George Dock will have been brought into this game for the morning, but did little. Nash drove him for a six on his way to a 50, which was made off only 58 balls. And another maximum finished the game off in a hurry. It was hugs all round for Sussex, who'd pulled off a comprehensive victory. Nash sauntering to an undefeated 61 as the visitors reached their target inside 20 overs. With five sessions left, the win had been secured by nine wickets, with Sussex taking 23 points for their efforts. Enough for them to move clear of Yorkshire and Durham at the top of the table. Somerset had to make do with only four after losing for the fourth time this year. They should still be outside the relegation places by the end of this round of matches, but not by much.